What's going on guys? Josh here with Shua Photography and in today's video we're going to be playing with the Nikon Z30 and the Viltrox 13mm f1.4 lens in a vlogging scenario. So I've played with this camera quite a bit. I actually do really enjoy having this camera and lens around with me because it does uh, I mean, it's so light and so compact and using other lenses like this lens, this Viltrox lens is not light by any means, but the fact that you're getting f1.4 on this is actually spectacular. So the 13 millimeter f1.4 lens from Viltrox actually gives you a roughly a 20 millimeter effective focal range on this crop censored camera. It allows you to be super close. I mean, I'm I'm like a foot and a half from this lens, like my nose, probably about a foot, foot, foot and a half from here to the lens. And you're able to capture all of this stuff. So imagine walking around and vlogging. Granted, this is super wide, but I like it. And I've used this lens and camera to even photograph the Milky Way. Uh, because on my, you know, Nikon Z62, Z72, now Z8, um, I've done a lot of testing between all of the cameras because I travel a lot and I don't want to have to take my big cameras, my super expensive cameras on trips with me. So I'm trying to find, you know, a nice kit that I can take with me and have awesome image quality and be able to do what I need it to do. And I think this camera and lens combination is gonna be probably one of my favorites for traveling. Right now I just have the, the camera on my desk here and I've got, um, I've got it on this little mini tripod. So right now it's just sitting on here. So obviously don't need to worry about stabilization or anything like that but I have very shaky hands and I want to show you if you have shaky hands how not great this camera is when it comes to that. Now, again, it does have electronic stabilization but it doesn't have any in-body stabilization. The Z mount lenses do have some sort of stabilization in them if it's an S series lens but because Nikon doesn't have anything this wide or this um, small of an aperture and all of that good stuff, this is what I'm planning on using. So I'm going to try and figure out a way to make this work and work well. All of the audio you're hearing right now and what you will hear in the house as we do kind of a vlogging scenario is just the standard camera microphone. So. I'm not using any external microphones. There's no lapel microphone. I don't have any kind of microphone plugged into the camera whatsoever. I do have it on the vocal range uh, on here, both now and when we start walking around in the house. The audio, I think, actually sounds pretty darn good for being built in audio. There's a freezer over on over to this direction that is quite loud. There's some wind noise. My garage door is kind of blowing. I am in my garage. It's not echoey. It's not super echoey, but it is echoey. So depending on what you can hear on this, um, yeah, it's a it's a pretty neat little setup. We're gonna do some vlogging, walking around, and then I'll come back. And after I review that footage and see what we can do in post, then I'll go ahead and give you guys kind of my thoughts and what you should probably do if this is something you wanna do. Now, I do have other cameras that I can use to vlog with that are way more stable, <laughs> um, way smaller, and that's you know the DJI Pocket 2. I have which is great but it's not great in low light it doesn't give you this background separation like this f1.4 lens does um, I have the insta 360 x3 that I'm gonna be doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff with uh, some travel stuff but I want the quality 
the, the high quality video and photo that comes from an actual camera. And that's why we're doing this test. So let's get inside, show you what it's like with my shaky hands um, doing some vlogging scenario. All right, so this is the Z30 in a vlog situation. So I'm walking through my house and just seeing what it's gonna do. I have a lot of handshake and so walking like this with, even with the stabilization on, I've noticed that it doesn't uh, work very well. So I switched hands, uh, just walking around, still internal audio on the Z30, no microphone, external microphone, anything like that. So this is the Z30 with the 13 millimeter F1.4 um, camera lens vlog test walking around. So now I'm gonna turn off the stabilization and do the same pattern. All right, so now this is the Z30 with the electronic VR off. So we've got the full picture, you know, wider than what it was before because with the stabilization, it crops in a little bit, which is why you want an ultra, which is why you want an ultra wide lens like this so that you can vlog and with the uh, stabilization and cropping in, whether you do it in post or in camera, which I'm gonna show you the difference between having it like this and then doing it in post versus having it done in camera. So again, this is the Nikon Z30 with the 13 millimeter Viltrux F1.4 lens for vlogging. All right, so I'm gonna do one more test, and that's with this pistol grip handle that I bought a while back for one of my GoPros. And it actually allows you, has little finger things, and I'll put a picture up over here or something like that. It's like a pistol grip, and it has finger grooves to where you can get a really good grip on the handle. Is that gonna make any difference in the shakiness of the video because of the shakiness of my hand? I don't know. But right now, I have the pistol grip, no electronic stabilization, so I'm gonna do some stuff in post and see if I can get it to clean up with having this pistol grip. So again, pistol grip, using right now the Nikon Z30, 13 millimeter f 1.4 Viltrox lens. See if we can get the shakiness to clean up or have less shake with this. So we'll see. So after reviewing all of that, it looks like, at least in DaVinci Resolve, and I don't know what editing program you're going to have, um, but it looks like if you use stabilization in the translational setting, 
it works really well with jittery footage, at least uh, comparatively speaking. Um, as you saw when I had all four of them up next to each other, the one at the bottom right just had this really weird like jello effect. It was crazy. And the one on the bottom left had this like weird jitter as I like spun around with the camera. It um, had this like jitter where it like zoomed in real fast and in and out real fast. But now I have uh, the Z30 with the Rode Video Mic Go that came with the creator kit on here back in my garage, obviously. I think, all in all, it turned out to be uh, a pretty good test. And on doesn't make a difference. <laughs> Don't even turn the stabilization on. When I turned on the stabilization and then tried to add stabilization in post, it just didn't make it look as good as if the um, internal electronic stabilization in the camera was off uh, and then put stabilization on. You could then go in and modify how far it zooms in and stuff like that. I basically, uh, for those of you who use DaVinci Resolve and use stabilization in there, what I did was I did translational and then I did uh, 0.33 on the zoom and 0.33 on the smoothness and that seemed to be a little more natural you could go in further uh, and smoothen it out even more but i think the natural little bit of shake that you saw in there um made it look pretty good and it didn't zoom in too far i, I don't want to kill all of my real estate on this end by doing that well, I hope this was an informative video for you. The Z30 with the Viltrox 13mm f1.4 in a vlogging type scenario. Not the greatest because it doesn't have any IBIS, but uh, it is passable. It does work. If you got something out of this, go ahead and subscribe. Leave a like. Comment down below anything you might have questions on. Uh, I will be posting more videos as we go on about. I've got my Z8 review video coming out here pretty soon. It is, uh, <laughs> it's, it's been a lot. <laughs> um, I've had some issues, but yeah. So Nikon Z8 video coming out. I love the freaking camera. And um, I know that if you are in the market for it, you will probably love it as well. But we'll see you guys in the next one. Later.